death pin. Item number, SCP-485. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-485 is to be kept in a locked safe deposit box at all times, with the key to be kept in a secure location. Description. SCP-485 appears to be a standard retractable pin with an unusually easy-to-click button. The pin itself was accidentally stolen by Dr. Dehige upon renewing his life insurance policy. The pin once belonged to Agent Blank of Blank Life Insurance Inc. Each time the pin's tip is extended, a random person known to the user dies by an unknown cause. Since the button's action is abnormally smooth, subjects during testing were noted to rapidly click the pin without conscious thought or realization of what was happening. Initial discovery occurred upon Dr. Blank falling dead mid-sentence, as Dr. Dehige was absently clicking his pin near his desk. Dehige called his wife, only to discover no answer at any normally reachable locations, including her place of employment. Supervisor Blank was found dead with a mildly surprised look on his face. Pin was given SCP status, testing to follow shortly. The pin's action was confirmed by a reclusive Class D personnel who only knew 39 living people, all met since his internment at location Blank on base. Said personnel successfully dispatched upwards of 90% of the remaining test subjects on hand, as they had all been selected from the same dormitory wing on base. Procedure for obtaining live testing personnel has been updated to require more randomization in the selection process. Addendum. Due to Dr. Dehige's recent personal tragedy involving nearly all of his friends and family, SCP-485 is hereby remanded to off-person custody in a locked safe deposit box. Note, Lucy stopped that damn infernal clicking at all hours at his desk. Now if he would just stop crying. Dr. Bright.